In the misty dawn of the cosmos, a remarkable entity has emerged that has left researchers in awe. Observations gleaned from the James Webb Space Telescope have unveiled an active supermassive black hole, a staggering 10 million times the mass of our Sun. This ancient and distant cosmic behemoth was born when the universe was a mere 570 million years old. Its peculiarity is so profound that one might even speculate whether it hails from an alternate universe, enough to elicit a chuckle from multiverse theorists. While black holes generally form from collapsing massive stars or the merging of smaller black holes, the enigmatic origins of the first black holes have confounded scientists and space enthusiasts for decades. Welcome to our channel, where today's video delves into the discovery of the oldest supermassive black hole detected by the James Webb Space Telescope, encouraging a revaluation of our understanding of the early universe. But before we delve further, do consider giving this video a thumbs up. According to existing theories, the initial black holes were expected to materialize around 100 million years after the Big Bang, coinciding with the genesis of the first stars and galaxies. These early black holes were probably quite diminutive, only a few times the mass of the Sun. Over time, however, they grew larger as they voraciously consumed matter and merged with their counterparts. Eventually, a subset of these evolved into supermassive entities, boasting masses equivalent to millions or even billions of suns. In the early epochs of the universe, a shroud of neutral hydrogen enveloped the cosmos, hindering the spread of light. Only after this hydrogen transitioned into an ionized state could light traverse freely. This phase, known as the Epoch of Ryanization, remains partially understood occurring within the first billion years after the Big Bang, an event that transpired an astonishing 13.8 billion years ago. Gazing so far back into the cosmic past presents considerable challenges. The research team skillfully discerned the distinct light emissions originating from the black hole versus those from its host galaxy. Moreover, they gauged the rate at which the black hole was devouring gas and inferred the galaxy's rate of star formation. The presence of this relatively small black hole in the universe's early chronicles raises intriguing inquiries about the swift emergence after the universe's inception. Long-held conjectures among scientists had suggested the presence of smaller black holes in the nascent universe, yet substantial evidence remained elusive until the Webb telescope initiated its observations. Sears 1019 and a handful of other exceptionally early galaxies serve as invaluable subjects for such research, owing to their relatively conspicuous brightness. The identification of this galaxy dates back to 2015, when it was the earliest and most distant observed galaxy. Subsequent scrutiny validated its existence, although comprehensive insights remained elusive. Enter the James Webb Telescope with Sears 1019, the brightest of the Hubble galaxies from this era, occupying a prominent spot on its observation list. In a mere hour of focused observation, the telescope amassed a trove of data. Among the revelations was the identification of the most distant active galactic nucleus and the earliest black hole ever recorded. Initially, scientists studied Sears 1019 as part of their investigation into light emanating from early universe star formation. The comparatively modest size of the central black hole within Sears 1019 introduces an element of intrigue, as the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, which manages the James Webb's scientific operations, notes, comprehending its rapid formation soon after the universe's inception remains a formidable puzzle. For long, astronomers have theorized the existence of smaller black holes in the universe's primordial days, Yet these observations represent the first detailed evidence of their existence. Astrophysicist Rebecca Lawson, reflecting on her initial impressions, remarked, I was just overwhelmed by the amount of information. Notably, the data revealed an unexpected emission feature linked with active galactic nuclei, which usually emits light distinct from that of star formation. This overlap in light emissions from both AGN and star formation within the same galaxy defies conventional expectations, adding a fascinating layer to the discovery. 
At just 570 million years after the Big Bang, this marks the earliest identified growing supermassive black hole, although scientists remain hopeful that it won't retain this record for long. Introducing the James Webb Space Telescope, armed with its unprecedented capacity to delve into the cosmic abyss, it has unveiled a mind-bending revelation. Scientists have stumbled upon what they deem to be the universe's eldest known black hole. This discovery springs forth from the telescope's supremely potent sensors, which deftly captured this elusive enigma. Behold, a supermassive black hole, a colossus dwarfing our sun by an astonishing ten million fold. This behemoth once reigned at the heart of a galaxy, hailing from an epoch 10.19 billion years after the universe's inception, a remote era that boggles the mind. In this remarkable study, not one, but two comparatively modest black holes surfaced, having existed roughly 1 billion and 1.1 billion years after the resounding birth of the cosmos. And yet, the James Webb Space Telescope's prowess stretches beyond singular marvels. It has also discerned 11 galaxies from an epoch when the universe was of tender 470 to 675 million years old. Initially, these appeared as nebulous specks, peculiarly luminous and markedly crimson. These awe-inspiring revelations stem from the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey spearheaded by Stephen Finkelstein from the University of Texas at Austin. His team skillfully deciphered the spectrum, distinguishing emissions from the black hole and its cosmic host. Moreover, they revealed the galaxy's voracious gas consumption alongside prolific star formation. In a visually striking display, Sears 1019 materializes as three radiant clusters rather than a solitary disk an indication that a galactic merger might be propelling the black hole's dynamism. The vast scope of the Sears survey teems with uncharted territory. Swiftly, another pair of diminutive black holes emerged within the annals of galaxies Sears 2782 and Sears 746. These black holes merely tipped the scales at 10 million times the mass of our sun, bolstering the concept of earlier, smaller black holes. Surprising us all, the emergence of these colossal galaxies in the immediate aftermath of the Big Bang implies that the Dark Ages may not have been as dim as we once thought. It hints that star birthing might have commenced far earlier than our previous estimates. Additionally, the appearance of this black hole a mere 500 million years after the universe's inception forces us to reassess our comprehension of its early days. Indeed, our understanding of the early universe undergoes a rapid metamorphosis. Whether we're prepared or not, the universe's origins demand a fresh perspective. What are your thoughts on this captivating revelation? Share your insights in the comments section below. This discovery of a distant and ancient black hole has already challenged our preconceived notions about the formation and evolution of these cosmic enigmas. It beckons us toward novel avenues of studying the universe's nascent days, raising the curtain on a potential cascade of discoveries. With each new revelation, the fabric of our cosmic understanding is woven more intricately, unraveling the mysteries of time, space, and our universe's inception and destiny. If you've journeyed with us thus far, don't hesitate to engage. Like and subscribe with the swiftness of light. And for more revelations about the universe's enigmatic secrets, click on the video gracing your screen. We'll meet you there, fellow cosmic explorers.